Hi, it's Mr. Collie. In the last video, we made a simple heart image on our micro bit, like this. And in this video, we're going to make it flash. So, what we need to add to this code, basically, to make an image flash, you want to show it, you want to wait a bit, you want to blank the screen, you want to wait a bit, then you want to bring the image back. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our basic command here, because I've already got my show image command to get my wait command, which here is pause. And pause, the amount of time paused, is measured in milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds is um, a tenth of a second, really. I'm going to get my pauses to be half a second by changing that to 500 milliseconds. There we go. So it will show my image. It will wait for half a second. Then again in my basic I can just use this really handy clear screen command there we go so it's going to clear the screen and now I'm going to show you something quite useful um, I'm going to try and right click on this pause command here rather than go over here and drag it in again because I want exactly the same command so there we go entry on a Mac like me hold down control and click otherwise just right click and you'll get all of these options so I'm going to choose duplicate and it creates me a copy that, that I can just put in again. So show the image, wait with the image on screen, clear the screen, wait with a blank screen. Then I want to show the image again. So what I'm going to do there is control and I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to bring that image back. So what that should do, in fact if I put another pause in, There we go. Show the picture, wait, clear the screen, wait with a blank screen, put the picture back on screen, and wait again. So that should give me pretty much one flash, really. So let's run it, and let's see what happens. Show the picture. There we go, it flashed off and flashed back. Now, I'm sure you can imagine with these. Um, with a script like that just to make one flash, how um, time consuming or how much code you'd have to write to make it flash 10, 20, 30 times. Um, however, we're computer programmers. We are um, lazier than that. So we've used these things that we used in the last set of tutorials called loops to repeat code. Let me just detach that for a sec because I don't need it. If you look at these four commands, that is Show the picture, wait, get rid of the picture, wait. Now that is how to make a flash. We want to repeat those same commands again and again and again and again and again and again. Which is fine. Because we can use those loops that we used last time. So let me just get rid of... Uh, again, I'm having zoom trouble. This is the problem with using a Mac mouse, it's far too sensitive. So I'll drag that over there and get rid. Um, I'm going to use a forever loop from my basic section. I'm going to drag it here and I'm going to put these commands inside the mouth of the forever loop so that it surrounds them. So these commands will now be run forever. They will run forever and ever as long as the program runs. So let's do that. Click run. And you'll see that my image is now flashing. So it's really useful, this loop thing. It saves me from writing lots and lots and lots and lots of code. And we like that. Um, the other thing you could do if you wanted it to flash a certain number of times, again, let me take that out of the forever loop, like so, and use my loops command. Let's have a repeat. And let's do, put it in the mouth of the loop again, and let's do 10 repeats. There we go. So if we repeat now, let's count it. Come on, run the code. Okay, that's interesting. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Crush fingers, ten, and stop. Excellent. So it did actually work. Save me some embarrassment there. So that's how to use loops pauses and clear screens to make your image flash.